If you wish to use the traffic wave autoresponder with the capture pages, the problem is when you actually load up your file into Blue Griffin, if you just select your autoresponder code from traffic wave directly and paste it in over the form code, and go back to the editor, you'll notice that it doesn't format correctly. This is because Traffic Wave uses tables and some special inline formatting. To get rid of that, simply head on over to HTML Cleaner, paste in your autoresponder code into this panel, and you will see a representation of it over on this side. Now, scroll down, and we've got this cleaning options. Make sure that inline stars is ticked, classes and IDs is ticked, um, span tags is removed, and the one you want to make sure that's actually ticked is this one here remove tables. That's the most important. So click that one, go back up, and now click the big clean HTML button. You will now see that. This is how the autoresponder code looks now. All the formatting has been taken out. Copy this code, Control C. Head on back to Blue Griffin. Go to Source Code. And where your original uh, traffic wave code is, highlight it. Paste over, control V, and then go back to the editor. Now that looks a lot better, but to actually get these names, these first name, last name, and email to appear inside the boxes, simply go back to source. And where you've got first name, highlight it, control X, and then you've got input name here, go to this box, press space, go down and select placeholder equals and then put enter and then you can control V and put in first name and then do this the same again. You go So highlight last name, control X, go down to this one last name, space, placeholder, enter, control V, last name, and highlight email, control X, go down to the email field, space, placeholder, enter, control V, email. Now, when you go back, it should all be correct. And that is how you can easily incorporate your traffic wave autoresponder code into any of the templates.